Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now we're going to get down. Mm -hmm. I dealt with health, but now we're going to deal with how the past, how your emotions, and how your mental state can affect your health in a dangerous manner. When the Bible says that we should let go of every weight and sin that so easily besets us and let us run with patience the race ahead of us. That's a loose quotation. So humor me on that. Listen. When you are carrying a load of care, when you are carrying a suitcase full of bitterness, when you are carrying a wagon behind you, you're dragging it behind you, but you won't let it go because what she did to me and what he said to me and that person that raped me and when they used me, I'll never forget it. All of that unforgiveness, baby, baby, baby. It's worse than taking all that medication. It sets up all those negative emotions, set up toxic, toxic chemicals and releases them throughout your body. Cancer is not just because of fouled up nutrition and contaminated foods. Some cancers, not all, some cancers start from a root. A root that just spreads throughout the whole body. And it starts with anger, hatred, resentment, unforgiveness. You put your label on it, you know what I'm talking about. God, that is one of the main reasons why God says, forgive. Do you realize how medicinal forgiveness is? It doesn't help the other person. It's not for them. It's for you and me. We have to forgive. We owe it to ourselves to forgive. Nobody should have that much control over your life. That they go with you everywhere you go. And every time you look over your shoulder, the memory flashbacks what they said what they did what they didn't do how they didn't do it how mean and cruel baby you are becoming a puppeteer to the enemy he just holds his little strings and you're down there dancing to his tune and he's cracking up crack cracking up <coughs> excuse me because he knows, he knows that you will eat yourself alive with those negative emotions. You hear me? This is a quickie. Forgive. Pray. Ask God to take that stuff out. You're the only one that will suffer for it, not anyone else. God bless you.